Knowledge is power. Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? It uh, is day number nine for the pre-op diet. Wow, crazy, right? <laughs> There I go with my crazies again. Now I'm going to have a hard time getting through this video without thinking that I'm going to say crazy again. Anyway, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch pre-op diet number eight. That was a mess. Hot mess. So, those who are going through the journey, leave in the comments down below on which is the worst comment you've ever received from someone who did not understand weight loss surgery and why you did it and where you're going to do it. If you were going to Mexico, I'm sure there's comments. If you didn't go to Mexico and you had it done in the States, let me know. I'd love to see your comments on for people who are very ignorant and are not educated on weight loss surgery. And the reason why I say that is because I've been getting a lot of comments lately, um, not on YouTube, but just random comments of people who disagree with my choices. This is my life. If I'm going to make this choice, um, I know and understand the risks for it, but I'm willing to do it. I'm, I'm absolutely willing to do it to get my life better. And I want to know what some of your comments that you've received um, what just you don't have to name a bunch just name one of the worst comments you've ever received when you started your journey so that's why I stated in the beginning knowledge is power and I'm gonna explain to you real quick uh, for oh my gosh almost four years now I would say about three three and a half actually um, that I have been studying this and doing my homework okay so <clears throat> Going back to what I was saying before I was distracted, um, for three and a half years I've done my homework and studied on if weight loss surgery was the right option for me. For 10 years now I have been trying to lose weight on my own. I've had nutritionists, I've had uh, personal trainers, some of the best. I've missed Tammy. She was one of my favorite personal trainers. She was so funny and we got along great. Um, I've also um, done Atkins, Weight Watchers, um, Slim Fast Diets. I've done um, smoothie diets, all juicing diets, which made me feel like I was starving, like the pre-op diet. Um, I was never satisfied with the juicing product, and it made me go back to what I was saying. I hope I'm not blurry on camera because my battery died, and I just changed the battery, and I didn't check if I was in focus. So if I'm out of focus, sorry, not my night to film. Um, I've had, I've done every diet. I can find excuses and I can give you a hundred excuses. I just don't have time for it. I don't. I made the choice three years ago and I wanted to get the lap band. I couldn't get the lap band. The insurance denied me. We appealed several times. I had a great, um, the coordinator who I was with at the time was a great fighter for me slash lawyer type of person who was trying to appeal me getting the lap band because I had all the comorbidities saying that I could have weight loss surgery. Well, at the exact same time, I think the same year or the year before, the insurance that my husband was has decided they didn't want to cover anybody's weight loss surgery anymore. They used to cover it, but not anymore. Now they had exclusions. And they were so strict that they said my comorbidities wasn't enough. And so after three years of fighting, I just kind of gave up. And I just said, you know what? Try to do this on my own again. I tried. I lost five pounds and gained it right back. Lost another five pounds. Gained it right back. Lost three pounds. Gained it right back. With the situation I'm in with my younger son having um, stage four cancer, me sitting in the hospital 24-7. My youngest son had stage four cancer for the last four years. We've been fighting back and forth, three, lap, three relapses. Um, so you can imagine the stress that's been put on me as a mom. And oh my gosh, you're being so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. When you're going through that much stress, I ended up going into a deep depression and I just, I got myself sick and 
pre-diabetic, obstructive sleep apnea, insomnia, um, just feeling so sick and sleepy all the time. It just, I'm not healthy anymore. And the, and the more that I'm gaining weight, that, um, and I use food as my comfort food, and the more that I'm gaining weight, I just get more and more unhealthier. And so I need something to boost me back to where I used to be. And so um, I made this decision three and a half years ago. And so I revisited um, looking at the lap band and I thought, you know what? I've seen some lap banders I became friends with. So a lot of them had to do a revise. They had to get their lap bands removed and do a revision to a sleeve. So I looked into the sleeve. I did my homework on the sleeve. What is the sleeve? What does it do? I've watched the videos. So like I was saying before I was distracted for the 500th time, um, I revisited the thought of this um, gastric sleeve surgery and I looked up on the insurance again to see if they changed anything since Obamacare came around and didn't change anything. Um, I thought maybe something might have changed um, because the FDA approved the BMI to be approved for surgery back down to like a 29 instead of a 40. And I knew I had my BMI at 39. And I tried to revisit the uh, insurance again, went online and looked at it, and they still had their exclusions. I even called and they said absolutely not. So um, I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I just, I was so miserable. And I'm, I, till this day, sometimes I am feeling miserable. My husband, being the gentleman that he is, sat down and talked with me one day and said, listen, I just paid off my 401k and I wouldn't mind helping you through your journey with the 401k and made me cry. So sweet. And found out that after doing my research that I can get the surgery done in Mexico for a quarter of the price than what it's done in the States, which is like thirty to $40,000 compared to $4,000. So the price in Mexico is $4,400. Um, that's including the surgery, the um, hotel and hospital stays, and the consultation you have with the doctor beforehand, I guess. Um, so, but then you have to pay for your passport, you got to pay for gas, and if you're far away, you pay for a flight out there, um, you pay for medications, you got to pay for the pre-op diet, post-op diet stuff. So it does add up after a little while. Um, I was very happy to receive a mini grant that was sent to me, and that helped a little bit so Ronnie didn't have to take out a lot. Um, so between that and my husband, um, the doors just opened wide for me to have the gastric sleeve and I was really happy that I was denied now that I look back uh, for the lap band. Who knows if the lap band would have been, would have slipped or um, I would have had to have it removed and then I didn't have a doctor up here who could have give me the saline to you know fill it up or decrease it so I would have probably have to travel quite a ways and that probably would have taken a lot more money with gas and food so um, there was there's reasons why things don't happen right yet so those who haven't been approved by insurances or um, not yet or will never be approved um, don't give up because uh, your time will come. I know it, it, you want it now and I've waited three and a half years to get this and uh, my time is now and I'm so excited about doing this and uh, I know it's going to be life changing. I've waited so long and I've worked so hard and I've fought so hard to get here and if it wasn't for my husband being as nice as he is I wouldn't be here today, so I have a lot to be thankful for with those people, and um, so I'm glad that next week's happening. I'm nervous, but I'm so excited at the same time to be, to go back to a healthy person again. I used to be when I was little, or younger, not little, younger. 
Anyway, I didn't realize I was going to get emotional about this, but I just did. <laughs> so if anybody loses hope about insurance, don't lose hope. There's other ways to go around it. If you can make payments for the Mexico surgery with a doctor out there, make payments and then get it paid off. It'll probably be fa a faster process than um, trying to go through insurance and waiting three years like I did. And it was just such a mess. It was so disappointing and discouraging and depressing. Uh, um, the three Ds. <laughs> Anyway, um, so that is kind of a quick version of my story. I'm doing very well. I went to a birthday party today. Let me do, dry my tears out for his hair. I went to a, a birthday party today. Um, I was a very good girl. Um, they had hot dogs, ice cream. And what I did is I made myself a soup and put it in a cup and brought it with me so I can sip on it and kind of chow down on some of the little noodles in there and um, I did very well I also brought a big cup of protein my protein shake my my plant-based one and it filled me up and I was satisfied and I wasn't hungry I wasn't tempted to go cheat or go eat some ice cream a very good girl I did really well and if I can do it I know you guys can too if you're going through the pre-op diet just plan if you're gonna go out to somebody's house just plan your meals and bring them with you and um, they were understanding they knew what was going on they were understanding and nobody was offended and that was fine it was a birthday party so all everybody else ate everything up so um, and then we went to the softball field again. My husband plays softball Thursday and Friday nights, and um, my kids wanted sweets and candy and, you know, the pretzel with cheese or whatever it was. And I just went and got me a water, and I was very proud of myself. So um, as far as the scale goes, the numbers, I'm back down to 212, which is good, and um, I'm just going to let it go for a little while. I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna continue to weigh myself every day. I'm just not gonna be worrisome about it. So, um, Sleeve for Tink is one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Um, she is such a sweetheart, um, funny and musical, cause I'm musical and we just clicked and she's such a good person. And I recommend you guys going on over to Sleeve for Tink's links. Haha, <laughs> I rhymed. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, I'll put the links down in the description box. Click on her link. Go over and subscribe to her. She's having the gastric sleeve surgery the day before me on July 1st. So um, I'm super excited for her. We're going to be sleeve sisters. We're going to be able to encourage each other and help each other through. So shout out to Sleeve for Tank. She's a great person. So um, she's my new favorite YouTuber to watch. We'll see you guys all tomorrow for day number 10. Oh, it's getting emotional, guys. It's getting emotional. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Ciao. It's not my night to film, I guess. So, uh, seriously, he just tried climbing up the table and almost knocked everything off the table with my tablecloth. My cat's eating my feet. Ow. I have a kitten. He likes to eat and scratch everything. Stupid cat. Seriously. Well, this time my battery died and I'm distracted again so I can't remember. Ah, ah, ah. Ow.
completely lost my brain, guys. I can't even remember. I just got distracted, and I can't even remember what I was just saying. I'm going to try to step back here for a second. Um, that, um, oh, that's okay. I just remembered. Squirrel! <laughs> 